Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here as the recording of this Tuesday, July 12th, 2022. I have returned after almost two years. I was here in October of 2020 and now I'm back in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. And Smokey Bear, not Smokey the Bear, there is no the in bear, but there is a the in Jacob the Carpet Bagger. Hey you all. It has been a while. Is that true about Smokey? That's He's not the bear. Bear is actually his last name. You know that now that I say that, I might be completely <laughs> off base with this. I've always heard, now Big the Foot has a the in it. Jacob the Carpetbagger. Adam the Woo. But I have always been told it's just Smokey Bear. Smokey bear. I'm inviting you to join me. I have no idea what we're going to do. And Jacob. We're gonna, I'm going to do some of my favorite things. Some of your favorite things around Pigeon Forge, maybe Gatlinburg. Join me. Shall you? Now, along with a lot of attractions I like here in town that we're going to be doing, I'm also going to feature some things that have changed since the last time I was here, 22 or so months ago. Well, 23 months ago, October 2020. They have removed the Liberty Bell that was over there here in Patriot Park, and they've added this massive tram stop. Tram stop used to be right over there. So I'll just kind of pepper in some changes, updates to the Pigeon Forge Gatlinburg area. Now, I don't know if it was originally called the Transit Center here at Patriot Park, but right over here is where the trolleys were. And there was kind of a hack back in the day that you could park here and go over to Dollywood. I will not be going to Dollywood today, but you used to be able to park here and take the trolley over there. But maybe people caught on to that little secret and they've kind of changed things up with the new system. I don't know. Now, I'm not going to go inside the Hollywood Wax Museum, but I always like to show this guy King Kong up there on the top of the roof. And then you got John Wayne. Let's see if I can figure all these people out. You got John Wayne, Elvis, Marilyn Monroe. Help me with the last person, Jacob. It is uh, Mr. Charlie Chaplin. Is that Chaplin? Oh, it is Chaplin. Now, it's been a while, but three or four or five years ago, they used to have one of the big balloons similar to the one they have at Disney Springs, like the characters in flight. And this was the station for it, but it didn't last very long. You can still kind of see over there where the ticket booth was, and then around back where the balloon used to be. These things are always a little scary to me. Now I do the one at Disney Springs pretty often, or I've done it probably four or five times, but I always think, what if the metal item that's holding the balloon to the ground breaks? The steel rope that is embedded in the ground and goes sky high. If that were to snap, would it just keep going up, 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 up? Or is there some sort of safety mechanism to let it down? I don't know. And over here, I thought this was called Opryland, but then Jacob just said no, it was called, he thinks it's called Smoky Mountain Opry. It is also closed. I'm not, I'm not going to make this video all about closed things, but wanted to point out a few. Yeah, Smoky Mountain Opry. It's gone. Now over to Weirs Valley Road, or Where's Valley Road? Weirs Valley Road, where the goat coaster goes around. You basically go to the top of a mountain. There are probably a dozen or more type of mountain coasters in the Pigeon Forge Gatlinburg area, and you can see it is a riveting time. The thing I really like about this as well is a place called Goats on the Roof. Next to the goat coaster, there are goats up on top of a roof. And it's like a magnet. It's like it drawing you in like a tractor beam, Jacob. Jacob said, oh, Jacob said there's two dinosaurs back here. Speaking of dinosaurs, we got to go over to Jurassic Boat Ride. Oh, oh, yeah. This kind of reminded me. These are just tucked away out here, around the back of the, the goat property. Yeah, take a look right there. There really are goats on a roof. There are more than a few, probably a dozen up there or so. All right, you got the red ribbon cherry soda. I went with a Frosty since 1939, and we got our tickets to go on the goat coaster. We're doing it. On a special diet, the goats only eat goat chow. Anything else 
would be bad. Are the goats, are the goats coming? Oh man, it's happening. I am now 160 feet up and continuing to go up, up, up. Once I get to the top, it's all gravity downhill. And I have this, so if I want to stop, I push back on this. And if I want to go forward, I have to push forward on that. But the ascension, do not need to do anything, it's pulling me up. It has been a while since I've done one of these. And trust me, at my weight, I am not the thinnest person ever. The weight, the body weight, will get me going down the hill at a very quick descent. You can just see, going up, 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 up to the top of the mountain. At one with nature out here. It looks like one more final ascension, and then it's all downhill after that. I'm off. Oh, holy cow. I am moving. I am moving right now. Oh my lord. I am, oh my goodness. I am moving so fast. Holy cow. Oh, oh. Has anyone ever launched off this thing? Ah, ah. <laughs> Hyper speed, hyper speed. I'm not even going full on, oh. Oh yeah, yeah, go, go, go. Go, 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 go. No hats or glasses allowed on this either. Quote Big Thunder Mountain, you best remove them. Oh, what if you launched off this thing? That's all I can think about. Oh, 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 oh. What the heck? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, there's chickens. There's some roosters or chickens back there. Going around, full circle, full circle. This thing is getting it. Oh, don't go long chop it. Oh, I think I've about reached the end. I think I've about reached the end. That's it. Oh, I'm moving. Oh. Holy cow. That's fast. I forgot how fast those mountain coasters No, I, and been a, while, a little while. I, it, it shocked me a little bit. And you always feel like it's gonna like... Did you push it all the way down? I kind of went about three quarters. I did about maybe, yeah, and maybe then those, half. Those turns, I kind of pushed back on the brake just a little bit. Let's see those turns that didn't have any netting around the side. Yeah, it really feels like you could be launched into the forest. We weren't though. No, Thankfully no. we weren't. No. We made it, we made it back. Goats on the roof coaster. Commuted over to Cooters now, which used to be in Gatlinburg, right on the strip, right across from the Ripley's Aquarium, where Anakista is now. But it's now moved over to Pigeon Forge, and of course, right out front is the General Lee parked out front. There's a lot of General Lees everywhere. I really love the Dukes of Hazard. I love that show. In fact, I've been to Covington, Georgia, where they filmed, I think, the first six episodes. And then some of the back lots, you know, Warner Brothers, they filmed as well. Boss Hog, Roscoe Coltrane. Daisy, Luke, Bo. Who were the other two? Lance, Dan. Who were the other two Duke Dukes? The cousins. What I were they? Know this. Uh, Coy and Vance. Coy and Vance. The two replacement cousins. Coy and Vance. Have you actually seen the episodes with Coy and Vance? No, no, I just heard about them. They are not. They're not fan favorites, but I've seen a few of them. They're kind of they're right? still kind of entertaining. The thing is, when Bo and Luke came back. The other two just disappeared and were never mentioned again. <laughs> and headed down the parkway just a few blocks to one of my favorite attractions here in this general area, the Jurassic Jungle Boat Ride. I have filmed this many times. It looks like there's a new dinosaur in the front. When I say it's one of my favorites, it's very odd, very unusual, very kitschy, and very strange. And I'm already noticing they have replaced the dinosaur that used to be up here. Wasn't there a T-Rex up here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a T-Rex where that like brontosaurus type dinosaur is. Yeah, oh, oh, they replaced both of them. I think this used to be a Velociraptor. Now it's a Dilophosaurus. That's true. Oh, they replaced both the dinos. 
And over here, it looks like Jack Nicholson's still here. Yeah, this mannequin that looks like Jack Nicholson is still on site. Wait till they get a load of me. Now I put this probably in my top 10 all-time roadside attractions. Where would you classify this in when you recommend it to people? Yeah, I guess, into... I, usually when people ask me where, where to come and pitch in Forge, I usually, this is usually the number one suggestion. This is the first thing I think of. And the price is $18.99 for adults. So for me and Jacob, it was times two plus tax. Ooh. And you do not get wet. Now, just a heads up, unless you are into really unusually awkward roadside attractions, that price probably will seem really expensive. I don't know if it'd be worth it unless you're into this sort of thing. Just to add, that's my review. Yeah, and I gotta say, I'm pretty excited to be riding this with you. I've been on this a bunch of times, just myself and other people. Have but we never rode this before? Have we ever ridden this together? I don't think so. Oh, and we're first row. We're first row. It's always so unusual having those mannequins standing there. I think there's like other people in line. It's just like, it's an illusion. They're not real. They're not real. At any moment though, this is gonna... Going in. Now this is supposed to represent a time portal. So you're gonna hear this unusual noise very soon. There it is, going back in time. Ooh, my God, this, we're going back in time, Jacob. Oh, look, there's a time portal behind us. Okay, it just turned off. Oh, oh hello there. Hello there. How's it going? We got a dino there and a dino over here. Oh, look up here, there's a pterodactyl going over. Don't don't drop oh, anything down here, pterodactyl. Oh, there's another dino. Look at this, but look over here. There's a big full spider. Full on assault. There's a yeah, huge, huge spider, spider up there. And those snakes. Oh, hello, snakes. Are they venomous? I'm not sure if they're venomous. You look friendly. The sound effects are the best thing ever. Yeah, there's so so many dinosaur screams. Oh, oh look up here. Oh, uh, it's like it's, it's got someone in its tent. It's, yeah, it's, it's got a, it's a, a child. It's a child in its <laughs> Go, take him away. Oh, take him away. You know, I keep expecting a drop, almost like Jurassic World. Oh, there's no drop. There's no drop. You don't get wet. There's no drop. No, I think oh, that's the tail of a dinosaur. Tail? That's a dinosaur's tail. See. That's oh, I don't know that, that oh, it does have, te it. Does have it's tentacles. Like an octopus. Maybe it is an octopus tentacle. You're right. Now, if I remember correctly, does it one run along here? I thought so. Right here is the running one. It's not working. There's a running one right here. It's not working. Yeah, this one used to, this one here to charge, to charge at you. Oh, this one moves a little bit. Maybe it's kind of jiggling there. Oh, that's very close. You know, fun fact, my friend Prince Charming Dev from Florida, he's a he's a Disney Orlando vlogger. Yeah. He came out here and I said, you gotta go on this. And he got a hold of me afterwards and goes, why did you recommend this to me? And I said, you didn't like it? And he goes, no. Oh, look at this. Is this gonna spit at us? I don't think it is. Look at this skeleton. Oh, it's a geyser. Skeleton standing here in the jungle. Those are volcanoes. Right there. All right, passing up on. There's a lot of different dinos through here. A lot of dinos. Yeah, I think this is a new dino. This yeah, has been replaced since the last time I was here. And this one up here usually makes a horrendous sound, but it's not making the noise right now. It's just kind of like batting its eyes. And right here near the exit, the snake is now rearing its head. The big snake is hissing right above my face. These are the exit doors right here. I'm just waiting for those to open. Okay, there used to be a dino right here. Oh, look, it just started to pop. It just wanted to pop out. There used to be like a T-Rex that would yeah, pop out right there. there. And back in the day, this would raise up and you would go closer up to the snake's head. But that no longer works. Also, we had our own boat. I have a hard time really describing the experience on this. On the way out, you said it's like riding a new attraction, a new ride every time. Yeah, you don't know what dinosaurs are gonna be working, what's not, what's gonna pop out. Occasionally they throw some fresh ones in there. I do like the fact that they replaced a lot of the dinos, but there's a, there was a lot not working yeah. on this one. But next time we go on this, they might be working. Is, they could be working. You just never know what you're gonna get on Jurassic boat ride. And we are gonna head over into the mountain over into Gatlinburg, only a few miles away. They're kind of twin towns, twin cities, if you will. I wanted to give a little mention here to 
hillbilly village, which existed when I first started visiting this area. I go here all the time, and in the back they used to have like moonshine stills and photographs, and outhouses and stuff. They did have some of the, the relics of it left, but it looks like they've removed everything now. Now over into Gatlinburg now, Jacob and I were just discussing how this whole area has really gotten a lot busier than it was seven, eight, nine, ten years ago. Ended up parking over here at this lot, but not a lot of parking and the parkway, which we're gonna walk up to up there, is very, very busy with people, even for a Tuesday. And right up here is another extinct attraction. It was called Christ in the Smokies Wax Museum. Jacob was also just pointing out that you could see some of the backdrops from the wax museum, like the sky, the night sky. So all the wax figures used to be in there. Where did they move the wax figures to? The, uh, the uh, it's Biblical Times Theater in Pigeon Forge. I don't know if that's open yet, though. So they moved them over to a place in Pigeon Forge? Yes. Biblical Times Theater. You just see the sheer amount of people and traffic going up the parkway here. A few years ago, they renovated Ripley's Believe It or Not, and they put a new facade on it, which is pretty cool. It kind of becoming a tradition whenever I'm here. I always like to get a bite to eat at Mellow Mushroom, which is right out of there. I think we're going to get some pizza. So pretty interesting stuff around around this neck of the woods on, this, on the parkway, including this horse that is not, the man is not riding a horse. The horse is riding the man itself on this little animatronic. And of course, across the street is another dinosaur that's kind of rearing its head and opening its mouth. Now, Mellow Mushroom, I've been to, the first time I ever went to Mellow Mushroom was over in Asheville, North Carolina, which is just over the mountain. And since then, I really like it. Like, there's one in Pigeon Forge and there's one in Gatlinburg. I always like Mellow Mushroom and I ended up getting a salad before the meal arrived. I went with a medium pizza, which is a rather large pizza. It's kind of like their version of a Supreme. It has a little bit of everything on it and it's called the House Pizza. Yeah, gotta love some mellow mushroom. I know I do. All right, we are now going up in the Space Needle. Not to be confused with the Seattle Space Needle, which I was recently on, actually on this road trip. I haven't been home since I went to the Seattle Space Needle. Been on the road for well over 70 days. This is the Gatlinburg Space Needle going up very slowly. I always like to have the fans here. But it is called the same. In fact, they have merchandise that says Space Needle on it. Which Space Needle do you prefer? I'm kind of partial to this one because I have a lot of nostalgia at the Gatlinburg Space Needle. What's your favorite? Oh, uh, well, the only time I've been to the Seattle Space Needle, they were actually uh, refurbishing it. So it was all like covered up. So the only one you've been on is this one? I actually went up to the Seattle Space Needle. It was just all like. It's a pretty small area. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. gotcha. This is moving very slow. It feels really good up here right now. Nice little breeze. Looking over Gatlinburg. So if you take this road, very busy, bustling thoroughfare through Gatlinburg, wind around and go through the woods through the mountain that way, over there, about four or five miles, is Pigeon Forge. Now, one thing the Seattle Space Needle has that this one does not have are gla is glass, or should I say plexi, that in case you were to lean over and go too far, it'll stop you. That's how the Seattle one is. This one, here in the Smoky Mountains, there is no plexi, no glass, Anyone could just lean over, look down there, see the shadow of it. It's just all open air. Kind of adds to the experience a little bit. It's one of the trolleys down there. Down here at the base where that pool is there is the Gatlinburg Inn. That is where the song Rocky Top, Rocky Top Tennessee, was written in one of the rooms down in there. Fun fact. Now, I do not know if this has been confirmed, but I have heard stories that they rented out or sold the property next to the Gatlinburg Inn, and the people that put in this original ski lift have to pay a percentage for like, you know, 30, 40, 50, 100 years, I do not know the technical number, but they get a percentage of whatever their ticket sales is goes right to the people who own that inn. That's the rumor on the street. 
I really have to wonder how many times this phone has been used. Has this phone ever been used? What would happen if he picked that phone up? What, what, where's the direct line to? Maybe it's directly to 911. I don't know. Now this is kind of a, this is a piece of little history here. This was kind of a really unusual roadside attraction called the World of Illusions, which I think you and I probably made a total of 20 videos at World yeah, right. of Illusions. But this used to be open, they've changed this. It used to be kind of a slanted forefront. You'd walk in this way, and it'd be all kind of like little sculptures and mannequins and whatnot. And then you go into the world of illusions that way. The whole building does look a lot different. And they are doing a little maintenance on it, fixing up. There's gonna be new owners are gonna take over and create it in something else. The world of illusions is no more. And I believe the same people that own World of Illusions also own the Jurassic Boat Ride. And across the street over there is Earthquake, which they own that as well. So they still have two of them. Yeah, you could get hypnotized by watching all this taffy spinning around. They're just shaking that Laffy Taffy. Isn't there a song called, what they call that, about Laffy Taffy being shaked? I think it means something different, but. Shaking Laffy Taffy? Yeah, I think that's a song. Is that a song? I, it might be, or maybe I'm just making it up. But that's it, right? The taffy's oh, being wait, pulled around. What's he doing? What's up? Oh, he's adding in some kind of, some oh. secret formula, almost yeah. like Doc Terminus from Peach Dragon. It's like dragon cartilage keeps you thin, <laughs> dragons. <laughs> A dragon tear, tear will clear up your skin. Watch the prophets come rolling in. That's a deep cut, Peach Dragon. You ever see a Peach Dragon? I have seen Peach Dragon. Remember Doc Terminus? He's the he's the like the snake oil salesman. Yeah, the singer from System of a Down with the mustache always reminds me of the snake oil salesman from from Peach Dragon. <laughs> and across the way is the Mountain Mall, made completely out of wood. You can see, definitely has an old sort of architecture feel to it sell cowboy hats there's a music store in there but over on the side I'm gonna say hi to an old friend and see if he's still around these parts oh Beauregard the bear I think he's over there oh yes there he is right here the one and only Beauregard the bear here at the mountain mall established 1978 I don't think Beauregard was here back then but he's still there next to this little tub here. I don't know what's in that tub. It could be a keg of beer. It could be flour or something like that. But old Beauregard. This is like a tradition, man. Seeing Beauregard. I know. Is he just like you? Is he, is he just like you remember him? Always the same old Beauregard. Good old Beauregard. Did I ever introduce you to Argyle the pig? Yeah, yeah, you did. In Hollywood? Yeah, it's been a while since I've seen Argyle. Now Argyle's gone the way of the wind. He doesn't exist? No more Ar Argyle is history. But the same cannot be said for Beauregard the bear. I always wonder what Beauregard is thinking. I don't know. I don't know what Beauregard is thinking. Now, what can I say about this, this attraction? I Love it. There it is. Earthquake. It's shaking. Earthquake. It is Earthquake. The ride. And you see there's some mannequins over there waiting. And I really do love this right here. Showing what's going to happen. We're going to go board a train after we purchase our tickets. Not a movie. It is not a movie. Not a simulator. Now this is $14.99 per adult. It's happening. It appears as if the people waiting in front of us, I don't know what they're looking at, like she's staring and he's staring kind of right here at the wall. They're not looking at the front entrance, but they're staring at the wall. Also, she has lost a hand here and he has a missing hand as well, but I'm not really sure exactly what they are looking at. What exactly are you looking at? So if you follow the sight line, you'll, oh, you know what's this? They, want, they see the all smoking oh. session. They want to know what the smoking is. Okay, I've taken my seat. Also, I should mention that there might be, they give a little strobe light warning. There might be some strobe lights. So, sensitivity to strobe lights, just, there might be some strobe lights. Bro, we have a train on our track. It's coming right at us. Okay, we're about to move forward. Going forward. Yes, yes. Oh, seats are going up. Oh, seats coming back immediately. 
mysterious. Oh no! The train's right there. We're out of control. There's been a train crash and it's on fire. Train's crash. Oh, oh. Oh, oh yeah. There we go. It's tilting up on the side. See? Look how it tilts up on the side like this. See? Going up and down. This guy's just taking a snooze fest. Oh, there's smoke coming out. Whoa, Oh, whoa. I didn't even notice that pillar. It's just like circulating around. It's like some kind of a fire brewing down there. Yeah, get us out of here. I think we made it. Are we safe? Oh, whoa, oh, no, we're turning on. I forgot how how it fits that. Oh, the rats! Oh, there's a rat on the wall. Why are they chirping? I think the rats made that noise. The ladder turning. This guy over here is trying to make heads or tails of that. Oh, there we go. Watch out! Don't fall into that barrel of acid, Adam. Oh, the employee lockers are falling over. There's even rats on top of them. This whole thing is like tilted on its side. This thing is completely tilted. Walk apart the bananas in that box. Oh. oh my god. Oh, the water's coming out. I got spread. Oh, gorillas are breaking out of his cage. Oh, I got it. Oh, what is that? Oh, no! Oh, there's rats up there! We did it. We made it, Jacob. Success. Earthquake the Ride with Jacob the Carpetbagger. Doesn't get much better than that. And here's another view of the former World of Illusions from across the way. And I should say Earthquake the Ride being one of my favorites. I think it's one of my favorites because of how bad it really is. I just love very interesting roadside attraction themed rides. All right, going up, up the side of the mountain. I love these things. I've, I've stated this a million times whenever I go on a ski lift. It's like one of my favorite things to do. To just go up the side of a mountain, have the feet dangling. Now, seven or eight years ago when I first did this, this particular attraction was like six, seven, maybe eight dollars. It is now thirty dollars. Thirty dollars. And the reason why is because they've added the sky bridge and they've added what was it called? Like a rose petal flower? A tulip tulip tower. A petunia? Petunia tower? A petunia tower. So it's now thirty bucks. Progress. Going up, up, up and away. Hear all the insects and crickets and other creatures of the wild out in these shrubs. There it is, Space Needle, right there. Oh yeah, it looks so tiny. We are now above the, above space, the space Needle. needle. <laughs> now this states the longest cable bridge, pedestrian cable bridge, in North America, right here. The Gatlinburg Sky Bridge, which you can go across. And this area that I'm walking on is the new section that they just opened recently. Well, since the last time I was here, in October of 2020. And you can go over here, and there is the Tulip Bridge, or the Tulip Tower. Okay, made it to the middle of the walking bridge. You got the flag there. And you also got this area you can look straight down at the ground. You got the hard, hard plastic there. And also, there is a bear right down there in the tree, right at the end of the branch there. So, end of the, look at the trunk of the tree and then go over all the way down the end of the branch. So, here you got the wood here. There's me waving. 
and then onto the glass. <laughs> kind of really adds to the experience a lot. Definitely a very nice experience. There's that over car. Yeah, you got over over to the side, another car going up. Pretty nice day, a little warm. Summer is here. When I get back to Florida, I'm gonna think, why did I go back to Florida? All right, that's gonna do it for today. From Gatlinburg, started in Pigeon Forge. Basically twin towns, twin cities, twin communities, twin villages. Check out the carpet bagger. Check out his channel. Thank you. For his video of the day, my video of the day is what you're watching now. I appreciate you watching. I'll see you in the next video. You want to do the outro? Vlog over. <laughs>